Hey, this is Harry, and today we're going to turn some gold concentrates from this into this. And when we're done, we're going to use our x wrap to determine uh, what grade. And usually we're somewhere around uh, 20 karat, 18 to 20 K. So that's like 75 to 80 percent gold and with silver and copper. This is my crude method of doing it with uh, low amounts of gold in the pan. Um, Greg and I, con man, we ran about 750 pounds across the table and, and we got some concentrates, but it was from a dump and the dump has a lot of junk in it. And this junk is pretty hard to remove uh, by panning. So it, it'd be easier to smelt, but there's not really that much gold in there to warrant the time to smelt. So I'll do a little wet chemistry and uh, get all the base metals out. To compare that with some placer, this is some nice placer gold uh, from dry washing, desert, desert gold. And this is relatively easy to clean up by panning and then it's easy just to, to melt it down and, and, and get your gold. But for mining a dump and hard rock, there's gonna be a lot of junk. So I'll use some wet chemistry to uh, get rid of everything except for the gold and precious metals. Okay, so this is the process. Uh, here's the material that came from the dump that Greg and I ran, 750 pounds, like I said before. And we're going to use chemistry to remove the base metals. And that way I can get the gold out a lot easier. This is one method. There are many methods, but this one's easy when there's not a lot of gold. Um, it's easier to get a estimate how much gold accurately uh, without any real loss. The next step, it'll look like that. Here's a, a batch just ahead of that one that's uh, already been gone through the chemistry of removing the base metals. The blue color is going to be mostly copper. Uh, there's a lot of copper in the dump. There's going to be other base metals. Once this liquid is finished, if there's any free nitric, I learned a trick that if I put sterling silver into the remaining amount of uh, liquids that may have free nitric acid in it, then all the free nitric will eat the rest of the metals out of this and pretty much use up all the nitric. So now I get a free refining step for silver, sterling silver. And I'll do another video on what we use that silver for later. Once I remove all the gold out of here and rinse it, I'll put it into a melt dish and slowly heat it up until I get my button. Um, another method would be to put your melt dish into a furnace, which is the preferred method, um, but I, I can do it without really losing any gold uh, using oxyacetylene and propane. Note, always wear a respirator when you're dealing with acids. Uh, and also a face shield and obviously clubs. So majority of the base metals are now out. And now I have a lot cleaner gold I can 
I can work with now. All right, so now that I have the waste solution here from the cleaned up gold, this is what I do with the waste solution to make sure all the free nitric is used up. I take a piece of junk sterling, drop it in, and let any free nitric finish off the copper and silver and other waste materials. And then I'll get a free refining out of that. So the uh, liquid has turned blue, which means the copper is in solution now uh, with other base metals and even some uh, some silver. So that's that's still going. And then this is the cleaned up version, and you can see it's shiny gold in there. There's a little bit of stuff in there that's insoluble, but I can I can deal with that in the pan and then get that cleaned up. Here's that first batch that I had ahead of the one that I just treated. Um, so this is what it looks like after I've cleaned it in acid and then rinsed it. And then this is the stuff now that it's easy to separate. So this is this is ready to go in and, and melt up. Uh, when the other batch is done, I'll, I'll add those two together for everything that was in that 750 pound run. And I'll get a button out of it. Now with plaster gold like this, it'd be much easier just to melt this down with uh, silver. So I would encork this with silver, so this would be 25% um, of the weight, and then the other 75% would be silver, and that would go right to the refiner. Um, really easy, you don't have to worry about the impurities as much. Uh, so that's the easiest method, other than just melting this down as it is. But there's sulfides in there, sometimes and it'd be easier just to encord it and smelt it all right it's time to melt this thing down first we got to drive off all the moisture and heat this thing up slowly More silver than gold. Yeah, a lot of silver in this stuff. Let's find out what it is. All right, so here is our gold button from our test. Let's see how much it weighs. We go 1.43 grams, and we'll see what purity this thing is. So we're looking around 16 and a half carats. At just almost 70% pure. With about 20% silver. 
at 1.43 grams. And here's the other metals that carried over. We got trace of a bunch of other junk. Uh, the area is known for trace iridium and rhodium in the gold and copper. So um, there is trace iridium in this gold as well.